here during the overnight hours and throughout the day tomorrow. This is midnight tonight. And you'll notice some of the showers, maybe a few thunderstorms will continue to build, move out of Hutsmith County and into El Paso County. This is three, four o'clock in the morning. Notice the entire county is covered with rainfall. Maybe some of the heavier pockets making their way into portions of Doniata County, but you can see by six o'clock in the morning. Could be a wet start, wet commute, so you might want to allow yourself some ample time uh, taking getting the kids up, taking them off to school, heading off to work. Probably going to see some pretty wet roadways, so certainly slow speeds needed throughout the day for tomorrow. Keep the rain gear handy. Keep the umbrella with you as well. Notice by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Here's again uh, more scattered showers and storms that will continue to build and make their way towards the northwest out there. Maybe some of the heavier pockets out towards the west. Periodically, again, all the way through Thursday into the upcoming weekend, we're going to continue to track some of these showers and storms. But I think the bulk of the energy, the bulk of the rainfall, will likely push in here throughout the day tomorrow. Here's your planner, and as we make our way to uh, late tonight, the rain chances jump up to about 50%. Here's how it looks over the next several days. 80% chance of rain tomorrow. 81 cloudy overcast, 85 on Thursday, 88 on Friday. The rain chances, the first alert continues into the weekend, and notice the rain chances hang around into early next week as well, Mark. All right, Doppler, thanks. We want